mine. Let's go. Welcome back. We've uh, been off the moose hunt for a few, well, about a week. We had an antelope hunt and then an elk hunt, but we're back at it. That's all my concentration is gonna be on for the next seven to eight days anyways, is trying to find this young lady a moose to kill. What's your thoughts, Bray? We're gonna find one today, I think. Think so? I hope so. We'll find the one. The one. All right, what's your plan? Up to where we were last week and see if we could find the moose that we've been looking for and then what? then we're gonna shoot him make a good shot on him yeah hopefully and then spend the rest of the day packing his butt off the mountain i have a uh, i have high hopes for today logan went and checked a couple trail cams yesterday it appears that the moose are in full rut logan claims guys if just listen logan claims he got charged yesterday there's nothing to claim. Roll the footage, Log. That's how you know I did. Roll I didn't that, even pull the roll camera that footage, out. Log. He called me. I just got charged. I'm like, do you get good footage? He goes, I got zero footage. Because <laughs> I was running for my life. So it's <laughs> it's kind of like the one job he has, just like running for his life. Phone, like guys, I just got charged. That'd been awesome, right? <laughs> nothing. Well, I think you're focused more on saving your life than filming. <laughs> I'm questioning if it happened or not. <laughs> No proof. What, what, what's your guys' thoughts? It happened. No, I'm not asking you. I'm asking the fine people at home. No. They have an opinion. I want to hear it. Anyway, Logan claims he got charged, um, but the cameras he did pull looks like the bulls are rutting around and got their girls with them. So that hopefully will cause them to be out and about a little more out in the open. It's been super hot and dry this year. Uh, the big bulls close by our eight bull is close by. They're definitely rut. 
that. So we're just gonna kind of sit here and see what we can see what we can see. Guys, it happened. Everything always is like, this is how hunts turn out sometimes. I'm looking for this one bull up here. Haven't seen him and I saw a cow right here, about 600 yards away. Stop, because I thought in my head, I was like, there's gotta be a bull around her, and most likely a big bull. We sat down and watched her for about 15 minutes. They started glassing way up in the knob about a mile away. I saw black in the tree, so I put the spotter on there. It was a cow, and then all of a sudden, big bull we've been looking for came out there's two bulls he kept chasing the smaller one off but we found him so I think we have a pretty good play on him um, we're gonna have to go back to the truck drive it around and then hike from there uh, should put us pretty close to him Bray thoughts opinions I'm excited this is kind of how our elk hunt turned out too. right who, <laughs> who should we thank for that vortex optics thanks vortex all you have to do is find them, then you can go hunt them. We just found them. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Boardman. You're the best. Be like, hey, you just got nothing Charles? on me. You just got green in my eyebrow. <coughs> Looks sick. I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> I'm kind of mad this is gonna be in my picture. <laughs> Look at me. That's you like crosshairs on your face. <laughs> Do something a little different here. Come out like this. There. That's dope. <laughs> that's that's it. Do you that's have wipes in your bag so I can nope. wipe it off one night? <laughs> that's, that's moose face. We got all moose face here, guys. So we uh, looked at on X and we figured out a trail. We can can't get that much closer, but it'll be nice if we when we kill him optimistic when we kill him it'll be nice to have the bikes depending on where he dies but we're just he's not far from here he's as a crow flies more we think we saw him is 0.83 miles so get up try to get up above him hopefully the thermals are going up by then Pew, we're gonna kill moose guys smells? they have what do they like smell do they smell you know how you can like smell deer yeah yeah they're very musky very musky musky smell, smell. drop the beat drop it drop the beat right now logan when you're editing this ready <laughs> what? Bradley said it's only fair if um I don't like where this is going. <laughs> no. Where was this going? Right down to the well, And how do you even know what that that is? <laughs> okay. Well, th there's that. <laughs> now we got to change. <laughs>
Oof. 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 You sure that's one you want to shoot? Yeah. Okay, get on him. Come on him whenever you are. Right behind that Can shoulder. Can I shoot him right now? Yep. Nice and easy squeeze. Oof. He's moving. Oof. He'll stop. Oof. Oof. Stop. Right there. He's broad. Yep, right behind that shoulder. I can right now? Yep. Squeeze through it. Get him again, get him in. Okay, same place, a little farther forward. Okay, get him again. Where is he? Right there. I can't see him. Get him again. He's not far. Oh, you get him. He's moving. Ooh. Stop, shoot him. I can't, he's moving. He's not moving fast. Put on his front shoulder, right there. Shoot him. Okay, perfect shot, perfect shot. Again? Let him go down. Oh, okay. He's gonna go down. Right. Shoot him again. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't, okay, I can't calm down. Calm down. Don't shoot. Wait. He's going down. Are you sure? Yep. Can I shoot him again? Shoot him one more time. No, just let him be. He's not going down. Very hard to take down. I think not. Should you rocked him again right there. He's dead. He's going down. He's dead. 
Holy crap. <laughs> I knew you were gonna have to shoot him a couple of times after everyone says. Moves it stresses animals. me out because I usually like shoot him one time. <laughs> <laughs> you get so worked up. <laughs> I think I was a calm one this time. <laughs> I was so stressed about it. <laughs> great shoot and brave. That's a great bowl. That's a fantastic Holy he's, crap. He's, he's not dead yet. Their lungs are this big. Their lungs are this big. It takes a while for him to. I feel bad. Well, you don't have to watch it. It's all part of the That's process. <laughs> Give me some of those. You know what's funny is I think that's the very first moose that we got on trail camera this summer. Yeah. Really? That was Moose Mansion Bowl. I think it's funny because I'm not normally nervous when I shoot animals. I can't do it. I can't shoot it. I can't see it. <laughs> it stresses me when other people Did I help you this too. time? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Holy crap, that was awesome. It stresses me out because like with all my other animals, like I could just shoot them once because they're like smaller. But this one I'd shoot it so many times. Well, that's how it goes down <laughs> once in a lifetime. We literally had two motorcycle guys coming through here and asking to stop, and they did. Are you going to grab your backpack? Where do you think you shot him at? It's a little back. It's still back of lungs. Very... Look at how big his body is. He's giant. Guys, look at this thing. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a big bull, Bray. Oh, my Holy goodness. Crap. Your first shot was just a little bit back. But then, dude, you rocked him perfect. Look at this heart shot. Wow. Look at that thing. His body? Oh, my goodness. His paddles are so awesome. Look at that. Logan went and pulled this camera yesterday, and you notice he was broken. What's your thoughts? That's so sweet. Oh I my knew that goodness. any moose that I shot would look so huge. Go grab him by the antlers. I'm really scared he's gonna He's bite not. Me. He's, he's dead. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Tell him thank you. It's gonna feed our family and our friends and for a long time. Oh, what a gorgeous creature. Look how cool he is. He's awesome. That's amazing. Wow. Bray came through under pressure, man. You got a little worked Super up. Under pressure. <laughs> you got a little worked up. Not gonna lie, I was really nervous. <laughs> man, what a cool bull. What a fun experience, huh? Yeah. We've had some pretty good ones the last few years. Look how big its feet are. Look how big his nose is. Man. Can't get over how awesome he is. Yes. Do you smell him? Yeah. Very musky. I think he's been rutting hard. He was literally just sitting out in this giant mud wallow. He was like He was laying in it and looked, he couldn't get out of it. When you draw a tag, you always start thinking of how it's going to go down, or I always do, and how I want it to work out. And you can never, you know, you can never adjust that. It just happens the way it happens. But one of the big things is it's me, Logan, and Braley, really. And to try to get one of these guys out before the meat spoils, if you're a long ways away, and as how it's hot it's been, it's been 80 degrees during the day. But today is just like the most perfect, well overcast day, cool, and literally like oh from the road. <laughs> Meant uh, to be. <laughs> is he good enough? Are you kidding me? <laughs> how awesome his paddles are man dude <sighs> look at those fronts are you kidding me that's a really good move he broke part. again he, he just broke, broke since trail cam yeah he no that's the again. one that was broke no but it was broke up here oh so it went up here and when i checked it was broke here and then that's recent dude that is cool that's a cool bull he's a stud yeah look at that front look at both of them dude good bray Dude, and we have freaking history with this bull. Can you believe how big they are? Giant. Remember when I was telling you guys that Logan claimed that he got chased yesterday? Imagine running from that thing. Why do you keep saying claimed? <laughs> no video. Pretty sure I tore a little bit of my hamstring running. <laughs> no video. Wowzers. Well, we got a lot of work to do, huh? Wow. I think it's awesome. He still has all his velvet in his paddles. And you want to do a cool European mount? He'll look yeah. really cool because his antlers are dark. He's got velvet, dark velvet, and then that white. Man, how about, what did I say? Let's shoot a moose tonight, today, so we yeah. could do what? Back straps and, and mashed potatoes. My hand's shaking, look it. <laughs> I know, I was standing up and I was like. <laughs> Stud bull. Stud bull. Wowzers. Look at those shoulders. How far away were we? 158 yards, the first shot. About 200 yards after that. Oh, man. They sure soak up that lead.
tendon size. What is that? What is that tendon? Tenderloin. Tenderloin. That is a bull moose tenderloin. Hold that bad boy up. Look at that. Thing is gigantic. What are your thoughts so far? It's pretty nice. It's really big. There's a lot of meat. So. Stoked. Yeah. Halfway through, what are your thoughts? They're big creatures. They're large creatures, man. We've got both the quarters off and just half of the, the, the loose meat, steaks and grind is a full quarter bag. I mean, we did a good job, got ribs and everything, but these things are no joke, man. Look at that. Dude, this is just like a wall. So I think Logie's gonna run up, start running some meat up while he's starting on this side. But uh, feeling good, I was a little worried about trying to get the meat off, the hide off is the most important thing with moose. I mean, that attracts a lot of heat, but it's nice and overcast, cool. It's probably only 55, 60 degrees today, which is a lot better than it's been. Um, it's only been probably, what, two hours since you shot it? Yeah. So we're good, man. Feeling really good about it. Um, super excited to eat some of it. All right, guys, we made, uh, made, I'd say quick work of that moose. What do you think, Logue? Two and a half hours? Yeah, about two and a half. Two, two and a half hours, but. We picked it clean. There he is, yeah, we picked him clean. What I did though is I wanted, so this is a pretty popular hiking and biking trail. So uh, a lot of people run by this thing and I know they're out in nature, they're gonna see death. Like literally Logan was going to check a trail cam yesterday. I'll just put a picture in. And he came across a deer that had just been killed right on the trail. It was still warm and it looked like a cat kill. And so he went up and then when he came back, it was gone. So we think a cat got it, but anyway, they're gonna see death, but I try to be considerate of it. Not everyone's into it anyways. But uh, we got all the meat, guys. We did a good job. We picked it clean. I think just loose meat. Logan's already ran all the loose meat up on two trips. Uh, what do you think it weighed, each bag? 100, 100, total 100, 110. I have nothing in my backpack, and that first bag's probably 60. So maybe like 120 loose meat? Yeah. So 120 just loose meat, and then we have the four quarters. These quarters weigh, I thought they'd be similar to an elk. They're way heavier. I can't wait to, to uh, weigh one. But uh, on, a, on a big, full-size Rocky Mountain elk, uh, you get about 250 total pounds. That's quarters, everything. So I think we're gonna have around 500 pounds, 600 pounds. I'd say, yeah, I'd say more like 450, 500. It's gonna be a lot. Anyway, we're just uh, running them up to the truck. We're lucky, like, it's on the tra trail and it's not far. It is a little steep getting out of here, but we got three more loads a piece. I'm, I'm spacing out already. Are you? Yeah. Logan's spacing out. All right, we're gonna run this meat up and go take it to the cooler. Can't wait to try some of this stuff. Holy crap. Guys, we got it back. I'll tell you what, if you're like four or five miles deep on foot, this would be a two, three day project. It's just two guys. The back two bikes and that road being right there <sighs> saved us. Wow. We shot that bull at what time? 11? Just after 11, it is 3.30. So to cut and pack, we did six, well between me and Logan and Braley, we did eight trips with all the gear and meat in the head. Wow. How we feeling? Good. You tired? Yeah. You even got some blood on your shirt. Yep. It's good for her. That's good for a 16 year old girl. <laughs> you earned it. You worked hard. That was day number five or six we were out. Yeah. Lug bear, what's your, what's your takeaway? That was fun. That was really, really fun. That moose looks sweet. It feels sweet. All right, we're gonna load them up and take them to the cooler. Woo! Wow, 